Today I'm gonna to walk you through how I mount a turkey fan. Uh, I was fortunate enough to harvest this beautiful turkey this morning. A couple things that I use it, that you would need if you're gonna do it this way is some salt, just simple table salt. Soda ash, you can buy this on Amazon, it's very cheap. You need some push pins, I prefer these T pins. And a good knife, I have the Outdoor Edge fillet knife, folding fillet knife, it works really well for this, I'll show you why. And then a pair of snips or dykes. Uh, these wire cutters work really well. Last thing, the only thing else that you would need is a large piece of cardboard to pin the fan to. And we'll get to that here in a bit. So with your fan, you've got three sets of feathers that are gonna be your mount. You have obviously your primaries, your mids, and your fronts, that's what I call them. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the turkey by the base of his fan and you're gonna feel that it pivots. There's, there's a small piece that it hinges on down here. Now you can't see it because of all the down, but you will feel a knuckle on each side. You're gonna grab that, then you're gonna look at the front of your bird and figure out just about where you want those fronts to be. And I always take more than I need because I can trim them later, and I separate it. So now I have just the feathers of my fan that I have grabbed and that it's what I'm gonna use. Here's from the front and you can see, right? Here's your mids, primaries, and these are your fronts. These are actually the beginning of the back feathers. So I grab more than I need, like I said, and that's gonna be what my fan's made out of. And that's kind of just like my line that I use when removing the fan. When you lift up here, there'll be his exit. And what you're gonna do is cut right above that and you're gonna follow that through. There'll be a small bone that you kinda have to work the blade of the knife around and keeping it flat, remove the feathers. So again, right here, right above the exit, and you're gonna make a, just a plunge cut, and you'll, you'll feel the knife start going and digging in. And you'll let the fan down, and what you're doing is, again, is you're just feeling. So I'm gonna show you where I've cut here so you can see. So you see I still have some meat on the fan, and I'm just removing it. And then what you're gonna need to do is there's a bone, hear that? That's what you gotta go around. So here's the fan, there's the bone. So I'm gonna come up a little bit higher, try to just find my way around that bone. And sometimes you gotta go a little bit higher yet again. And uh, just working your way around and you'll eventually find your way through it. So right there, there's that bone. Now I'm gonna flip this back over, grab the fan that I wanna have and keep, and I'm just gonna keep working my knife and freeing it up and pulling it through until all of those feathers are done. Now when you get to the where your, your fronts are done, you just lift up with the knife and remove it. So here are our fans, and you're gonna have some of these feathers fall off, and that's why I take more than I need. But if you separate them here, so here is my fronts, I take my Outdoor edge knife, lay it flat, I pull it, right? There's my front fan. It's gonna be right there. And then here's my mids that I'm pulling. I'm gonna do that and remove this fan. And there's that fan. And then you have your tail fan. So these are gonna be the three fans that you use, and some of the feathers that you cut you can just discard, that you use to put back together after they're done drying. To so the back side, you do not need these, the backs of the tail feathers, obviously that's gonna be against the wall. So you gotta remove them, A, so your fan stays flat against the wall, and B, so you can get to the meat. Same idea, you're just letting the knife do the work, you're staying flat, and moving the feathers out of the way and removing it with as much meat as possible and you're discarding them. And then in the front, same thing. Okay, so now we just have to clean this up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna switch knives, you don't have to. Um, I just like the sharpness of an outdoor razor knife. So this is the razor light and it works well. Uh, just put a new blade in there. And all I'm gonna do is this down right here, you don't need. It actually gets in the way and makes it quite a bit harder to to glue all these fans together. So I remove it and clean that up because that's all covered up by your mids. 
get this on the edge here, and you're just going to lay your knife nice and flat, and you can see I'm just following the meat that's along the quills. And you're going to find that you're going to run into that bone again, right? That one that we were working around when we had to remove it. So I just get this stuff out of the way, the meat here, and it cleans right up. I have a little bit of fat left over in between the quills, which is fine. It actually will dry like rock hard. Remove this little bit of meat here. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the dikes that I talked to you about. And you see, you can, you can see that raised piece. Well, this would really make it hard for you to put them together flat and stay nice. So, so you just kind of cut on both sides of it here. And then you're just going to get your dikes up to it. And you're going to think you're cutting like the quills off. And if you nip them, that's fine. So you're just going to remove that as best you can. And then what I'll do is I'll come back the other way and cut it real flat. So you hear that pop. That's exactly what we're looking for. We're wanting to remove it from the quills. So now that this is all but free, I'm just gonna cut through it there. And there it is. So if we take the knife, free it up, that's that bone that we needed to remove. So now this is perfectly flat in the front. You clean up all of your fans. The mids and the fronts, there's hardly any meat on there. You clean those up. Here's your tail fan. That's the back. That's the front. And it's clean as possible. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking 50-50 mix of soda ash and salt. I'm going to mix it up in a container here. And then all we do is I take the straight edge of the cardboard and you make your fan, right? You're going to get it all pretty and just how you want it. Use that straight edge to Make sure your fan's nice and straight on the bottom, and then salt this. Salt this, take your T-pins, and in front and behind each quill, each feather, we're going to pin it. We're going to have salt on the bottom and on the top, and let this dry for about 10 days to 2 weeks. And then we'll come back and put it all together. So here is the fan. It's mounted. You can see I've got it pinned, and I've got the, the salt mixture here. Uh, the only other thing that I did is I took cardboard strips to hold the little fans. But I'm going to let this dry, and we'll come back to it in a little bit. We've got our turkey mounts. The fans have been on the cardboard now for about two weeks. I've changed that salt mixture out twice and they're pretty well dry. So we're at a point now where we're going to essentially take all the salt off, dust them off. I use like a toothbrush, an old one that you got around the house or an old paintbrush. And you're gonna get as much of that mixture off as possible. We're gonna be mounting them on an HS strut three beard plaque. I love these ones for a couple different reasons. First off, it's solid real wood. This is real oak. It's got a laser engraved turkey emblem on it, and it comes with everything that you need. So it comes with leather to hang your hooks on. It comes with a mounting plate on the back so you can put your fan on. And it's simple, cost effective, and it looks really nice. The adhesive that we're going to use to attach all these fans, the layers, if you will, remember we pulled them into three different parts, primaries, mids, and your fronts, is just simply hot glue. Uh, I've tried other adhesives in the past and it hasn't worked, so I literally have just simply a hot glue gun, uh, regular hot glue. And what's nice about this is that it's good hold and it, it's workable to a certain degree, but it also sets up quickly as well. So when you glue them all together, you situate them where you want, in about 10 minutes it's ready to go in the plaque and you're finished. So I'm going to walk you through these steps quick and uh, we'll have our turkey mount completed. So just to give you guys a, a better look at this HS strut pack, you can pick them up pretty much anywhere, Amazon, your sporting goods store, or from HS strut directly. And then here's our fan. So the salt solution there has been changed out a couple times. We've got them pinned onto our cardboard like we talked about. The spurs have been cleaned up and polished. I apologize, I didn't show you that process. But essentially you descale these completely and then I take a Dremel tool and I just polish them with a little polishing wheel and it gets them looking really nice. 
And so there's the mids, there's the fronts, and there's the full fan. And right now I'm just going to remove them off of the cardboard, clean up the salt mixture, glue them together. All of that salt and borax, soda ash mixture, whatever you're using, has been removed. And you can see that these are all dried now and they're pretty stiff. So there's my fronts. There are my mids, which I think are the prettiest of all of them. And then you've got your full fan. And you'll find out that this is dried really hard actually. And so that membrane and any of that sinew that was left is, uh, is very dry. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a layer of hot glue on here, set my next layer on, and then stack them up. The last thing that I'm gonna do is just on the back here to give it a little bit of extra substance, if you will, especially if you plan on removing it out of the plaque, I'm gonna cut a small piece of cardboard just to cover up these quills, and that'll make a perfect sandwich that'll lock everything in and it'll last a lifetime. We've got our turkey fan assembled. I, like I said, I put the cardboard backer there. I've got all of my fans adhered together. Uh, turned out really nice. It's a beautiful bird shot by a friend of mine. And then we've got, like I said, our HS strut plaque. So I'm gonna set that here. With that will come your metal mounting plate. I'm just going to set the fan in here loosely, if you will. And I'm not, this isn't the final set. What I like about uh, these HS strut ones is that you can take the fan in and out and it, you don't have to be exact on the first one. So they have some pre-drilled holes. You're just gonna line up those holes with uh, your, your plate here. And I just start them by hand. And standard Phillips head screwdriver and you just sink them all the way in. And really I'm just leaving the fan in there just so that I don't have to not fight it on the way in, but it's, it's already in and it'll get kind of clamped down and it'll be where we need it to be when we get this put in here. So I'm just gonna do one screw just so you guys can see. So you'd put the other one in, of course. Now the fan is gonna be pretty much secured and then you just center it up and get it where you want, and that looks really nice. I might tweak that feather up there, and boom, there you have it. All right, so we're all wrapped up with the fan. It turned out really well, and like I said, you can see how nice this, these HS strut oak plaques look. The back finished up and is cleaned up really nice. We got that cardboard here, so that way when you mount it on the wall, it doesn't catch on the fan or the quills. You can hang it up real nice and easy. And the front, the way that we got those hooks displayed, it comes with that leather that you just put a little dab of hot glue in each pocket here that's pre-milled out for your hooks and the beard is in there as well. And it turned out really nice. So hopefully this video helps you guys and you learned a little something. Uh, the way that I separate the fans, it means there's no meat, there's no fat in between them. And this mount should last a very, very long time. Thanks for watching.